previous video, I talked a bit about the dimensions, but some people wanted to know more, so that's what this video is about. So what are the dimensions? Well, the dimensions are basically ways of measuring and or experiencing things. According to superstring theory, there are at least 10 of them, and according to M theory, there are 11. But according to bosonic string theories, there may be up to 26. Let's go with superstring theory and assume that there are 10. That's the most common view. Most people have heard of the second dimension and the third dimension, 3D and 2D. And a few people know that the fourth dimension is probably time. But let's start at the beginning anyway. Throughout this video, you should keep in mind that I'm using a cube to represent a whole infinite reality, which I would draw, but unfortunately, that's not possible in our dimension. Dimension zero is a point. It's an infinitely small place. It has no size, it's just a position in space. The first dimension is a line, infinite points on top of each other. It can have no height or depth, only length. It's infinitesimally thin. It is possible for lines to be bent in higher dimensions, but they would still be 1D. The second dimension is a plane, infinite lines on top of each other. It's flat, like a 2D video game. It can have length and width, but, but no height. You're probably pretty familiar with the second dimension, partly because we actually see in 2D. Our eyes see in 2D, then our brain combines the two images to form a virtual 3D image in our brains. dimension is like infinite planes on top of each other. It's the dimension that everyone on earth knows about, even people who don't know the name. That's because our whole universe is 3D. Even though we can't actually see in 3D, we still experience it in every second of our lives. The third dimension has width, depth, and height. If someone could truly see in 3D, they could see as if they had x-ray vision. In other words, they could see the inside, outside, and behind of all objects. Maybe a 4D person could truly see in 3D. For us, the fourth dimension is time. It's basically 3D shapes repeated in a line, one end in the past and one in the future. If something could willingly move through the fourth dimension, it could move through time as well as the other three dimensions. Of course, we can also move through time, just but just in one direction. The interesting thing is, for a 4D creature, if there was one, moving through time would be the same as moving through space. It would be just like a new direction they could walk in. There will still be some places in time that they couldn't go, just like there are some places in space we can't go. Maybe to get through 4D obstacles, you would have to be able to travel in 5D. In the fifth dimension, you can travel along a plane of possible times, well, timelines with the same start conditions, which, for us, is the Big Bang. For example, say, Frederick, uh, say Frederick's walking along and suddenly he sees a massive wall that's not possible to climb over or go around in any way. It's been there forever and always be and always will be, so he can't travel 
through time to get around it. What he must do is travel through the fifth dimension to a possibility where the wall was never there. Then he can easily walk past, appearing to outsiders like Frederick simply disappeared from one side and appeared on the other. Oh, I didn't realize I could travel in the fifth dimension. The sixth dimension is a cube of possible timelines with the same start conditions. Yes, that means infinite universes, but if you think about it, all the dimensions are really infinity of the last d dimension, so maybe that makes it easier to understand. If the sixth dimension is a cube of possible universes to the same start conditions, then the seventh dimension is a line of those cubes, all with different start conditions. The eighth dimension is a plane of all possible timelines with different start conditions. At this point, if Frederick was an eight dimensional person, oh here's Frederick again. If Frederick was an eight dimensional person, he could he would not only be able to travel through space time and possible paths of our universe but he could also travel to a number of other possibilities if he wanted to. If the eighth dimension is a cube, a plane of possible universes, the ninth dimension is a cube of possible universes. Like so. You can tell by this illustration that the ninth dimension is so dazzling and fascinating that it's too big to fit on this piece of paper. The ninth dimension has all possible eighth dimensions contained within it. The tenth dimension, what could it be? We already have all possible timelines of all possible universes with the same start conditions of all possible universes with different start conditions times infinity, then times infinity a couple more times. So how could you have more than that? Isn't this, isn't that all there is? Isn't that all possibilities? Well, the tenth dimension is a whole separate all possibilities. Well, it seems we've reached the end. I hope you have a great day, and if you're confused, just remember you're not the only one.